Hey everybody, Daryl here, middle of summer break, uh, putting together a few projects as learning aids for my students for, for uh, the new school year. One of the things we'll be learning about in maths or teaching in maths uh, is place of value, base 10 system, decimal points, fractions, uh, and so on. Um, looking on YouTube, there were some great ideas utilizing cheap polystyrene coffee cups, um, which uh, the, you know, the kids can make these place of value holders quite easily. I was looking for something with a bit more longevity um, that wouldn't fall apart so easy. So looking around at the supermarket, I found these uh, quite sturdy plastic cups which slide into each other. And uh, you can pick these up for about $1.60 for 12, for a packet of 12. Uh, these will last pretty much forever. Um, what I did, of course, I measured around the circumference of each cup and uh, that comes to about 20 centimeters. Uh, we have 10 digits, of course. And so on a Word document, I was able to uh, uh, sort out my digits from zero to nine, um, two centimeters wide, and uh, print those off in color. You will notice, of course, that uh, the periods are actually color coded um, so that the students will have some sort of uh, assistance to help them get their heads around each of the various periods. Of course, we have the decimal period, uh, we have the ones period, the thousands period, and just one digit of the millions period over here. Uh, okay, so of course, once we've um, printed off these uh, uh, numbers and what have you, it's just a case of running them through the guillotine um, and getting off these strips, which we can then wrap around. And of course, if we have a look at our uh, place value holders here, you can see they're quite spin around quite easy. You can line them all up. The kids will have fun with these. And we can just read off the 1,111,111.111 and um, so we get the students to practice uh, um, talking about the, uh, the numbers that they see. Um, also on this, just to give a little bit more of a helping hand for the kids, um, not only do are the digits of course uh, with the, uh, the comma denoting the, the millions place value there, but also so the kids can see a um, the relationship to that. So X million, X being whatever digit you're reading. So two million equals two with uh, comma three period, three zeros for the period, thousands period, and three zeros for the ones period. And uh, they can get their heads around that. And of course, the same goes for all of these. So we have the hundred thousands period, or the hundred thousands place rather in the thousands period. We have the 10,000 place value in the thousands period. The one thousands or thousands place value. Then, of course, breaking the cups apart, and again we color coded. We have the uh, ones period. Of course, we have the hundreds, and our tens, and our ones. And of course, going further and breaking down into the um, decimal points, which of course will be related to fractions. Um, you'll notice, of course, that I have taken some of the benchmark numbers in particular uh, zeros 2 and also point, uh, 5 is also a benchmark because I'll be teaching you know, point, uh, two five as being related to a quarter and also uh, what have we got here, a 7, 5, point 7, 5 of course would be 3 quarters and uh, 5, point five point zero would be half, point five zero is half and so on. So yeah, that, that's an idea for the kids to be able to relate those as well. And again, we have those broken down into point X equals X tenths or X over 10. And the same with the hundredths, hundredths place value, X equals hundredths, X over 100. And we've gone far, as far as three decimal, percentage, uh, decimal points rather um, to the thousandths as well, just to relate it back to the ones tens, hundreds, thousands periods here as well. So yeah, they all just slide into each other. Nice and easy. And it's just a matter of, uh, yeah, the kids can sort of spin it around to the heart's desire, read off the numbers. Uh, again, as, a, as a, an extra activity, uh, pull, all the, pull all the cups apart, jumble them all up, and get the kids to rebuild the actual place value with the proper uh, in their proper order. So yeah, there you have it. Um, nice little project. Quite happy with the results. Um, that'll last for quite a while, I'm pretty sure. 
and hopefully yeah, it'll assist the students to get their heads around the concept of place value and uh, talking about big numbers and also decimal, decimal fractions later on. Alright, thanks for watching.